private and the public sectors, noting that the people of Fairfax County are willing to pay more for good teachers if there's assurance of quality control. State School Board, Mary Powell. specific ways that we can improve education. There are few areas of American life as important to our society, to our people, to our families, as our schools. By the way, if I could just interject something here. If there's anybody who proves that learning doesn't have to be dull, that education and fun can go together, who sang Rock Around the Clock? Bill Haley in the comments. Name the two lead singers of the Drifters. Clyde McFadder and Benny King. And, uh... <laughs> and what's at the top of this week's top 40? I don't have the foggiest idea, Mr. President. You mean you don't know the answer? No, sir. Bill, everybody knows that this week's number one song is Michael Jackson's Man in the Mirror. <laughs> Don't feel bad, Bill. Two out of three isn't bad. But there's a serious point here, one I hope you'll always remember. Learning and fun can go together. And in many ways, the more you know, the more fun you can have. Now, some of you may have heard...
the strength of the arts program. How can we achieve balance between the subjects? <laughs> Mr. President, Mr. President, I'd like to present to you 1,000 Oakton High School students. Thank you very much. I know that you all heard everything that went on in the other room, and so since I spoke about 15 minutes, I thought I'd ask questions. What did I say? I <laughs> No, I won't do that, and I know that I can't take up 
too much of your time. But I was just telling, I was just telling your principal before we came in here a few minutes ago that, you know, you don't outgrow a lot of things and a lot of memories. You remember a lot of things and sometimes wish you'd done a little better. As for example, when my alma mater, the college that I went to 25 years later, gave me an honorary degree, they didn't know that I'd been nursing a sense of guilt for 25 years because I thought the first one they gave me was honorary. <laughs> but um, hearing your fine band and all and being in this atmosphere, believe me, it's very difficult knowing that I got to go outside and head back down over to Washington. The memories that come flooding back of all the things that go on and I know I wasn't as much of a student as I should have been. I think I made that plain in my remarks. I've often wondered if I had tried harder for A's, what I might have become. The Secretary of Education. <laughs> that was, <laughs> Bill just said Secretary of Education. <laughs> that was pretty sneaky of me though, wasn't it? No, I have a great respect, as I said in there, for all of you and what you're doing and the accomplishment in Fairfax County in this whole upsurge of educational quality that is, has taken place. And now I know I have to go, and I can't keep you here any longer, but I just wanted to tell you, <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't tempt me. <laughs> you know, but I have a story that just came to me recently, probably because of St. Patrick's Day. And this is a true story of a little Irish girl about six years old in Ireland came home from school and with a note she had been very naughty and that night when the family gathered around the dining table she was at a little table over in the corner facing the wall and then they heard her saying grace she said dear Lord thank thee for preparing a table before me in the presence of mine enemies <laughs> Well, it's been a great pleasure to be here. I wish I could think of something startling that would improve everything for you, but I, I can't. I just want you to know that I've been very honored to be here and be a part of this day recognizing your teachers and all that they do. God bless all of you. Thank you. Mr. President, we couldn't let you go without introducing you to our Cougar Heather Sumney and the President of the Student Government Association, Ms. Dawn Olmsted. It is, my honor on behalf of, it is my honor on behalf of Oakton High School to welcome you to Cougar Country. We are very excited that you could be here with us this afternoon. We know as president you have quite a lot of things to do, and we're glad you could take time out of your schedule to be with us. I hope, we hope that we will be the beginning of a future that you will be very proud of. Thank you. Now, on behalf of all the students here at Oakton High School, I would like to present you with an Oakton High School baseball jacket for your remembrance of this day. How did you, how did you cougars find out that my nickname was Dutch? We have our way. <laughs> That's what is inscribed on the jacket. And now, you might be interested to know, I know that you call it Burgundy and Gold. Yes. Well, at Eureka College, where I played football and a few things, we called it Maroon and Gold, so the colors are very appropriate. I'm very pleased and proud to have it. Thank you.